The economy is in much worse shape than we thought it was in. It is, this is a spiraling effect. And what you're seeing now is a whole, re every economist that I've spoken to, George, from well-known economists on the right, conservative economists, to economists on the left, and everyone in between says the scope of this package has to be bold. But in the short run, at what point There is does no short run other than keeping the economy from absolutely tanking. That's the only short run. And that's why, as President-elect Obama said, we can't worry about the deficit in the short run. Exactly we can't worry right. about it Cannot. right now. This auto uh, bailout, uh, uh, Congressman Cantor, about $13 billion for an initial bridge loan over the next three months or so. You disagree with the president, I take it? Uh, well, if I don't disagree, what, what, what I think, uh, number one is... Uh, so the so well, let me just be precise. Do you support that $13 billion uh, bailout that, uh, that he announced on Friday? No. No, Wolf, I don't. And here's why. The bailout um, of a failed model is not, I think, what we owe the taxpayers. Eric Cantor just gave, I think, an example of what people don't, don't like about us. Namely, you said, do you uh, disagree with the president? He said no, whereupon he proceeded to denounce what the president is doing. If what he said was agreement, I really want to be here when he disagrees, because that'll be really interesting. Haven't you, in effect, kicked this problem down the road to the Obama administration? I wouldn't describe it quite the way you did, Chris. He punted to the Obama administration. Punted this to Barack Obama. He did punt. He punted. Simple as that. The president's package tries to encourage the kind of changes and restructuring that we think is going to be essential if the companies are ever going to become viable. You can only go so far. Obama administration ultimately is going to be the one who's going to have to resolve this issue. It'll be a problem they have to deal with. Pure politics. If the Republicans and his administration basically forced these companies into bankruptcy, they would be remembered always as, in Dick Cheney's notable phrase, as the party of Hoover. He doesn't want to be Herbert Hoover. He's going to be Herbert Hoover. I don't care what he says or what Dick Cheney says. This president <laughs> has damaged this economy and is going to go out with a tarnished record. But unfortunately, he is on their watch, and it's a mess. During the campaign, you called your predecessor, uh, Vice President Cheney, probably the most dangerous vice president. The advice that he has given uh, to uh, President Bush has been uh, um, not healthy uh, for our foreign policy, not healthy for our national security, and it has not been consistent with uh, our Constitution. It caused this administration to overstep its constitutional bounds, but at a minimum to weaken our standing in the world and weaken our security. Biden has said that he believes you have dangerously expansive views of executive power. Well, I just fundamentally disagree with him. He also said all the powers and responsibilities of uh, the executive branch are laid out in Article One of the Constitution. Well, they're not. Article 1 of the Constitution is the one on the legislative branch. You can't keep straight which article of the Constitution provides for the legislature and which provides for the executive. President-elect Obama will decide what he wants in a vice president. Apparently, from the way they're talking about it, he does not expect him to have as, as consequential a role as I've had during my time. Do you think that the world views the United States as a humble nation? The world views the United States as a place to be respected. What we've done hasn't always been liked or popular. Do you think that the president pursued a humble foreign policy? It's very humble to believe that there is no man, woman, or child who should live in tyranny. Popular? Not always. Multilateral diplomacy is hard. It's slower. It's tougher. It's a bigger slog. Did you really tell Senator Leahy, bleep yourself? I did. Any qualms or second thoughts? No, I thought he merited it at the time. The highlight of the interviews. Was, yes, I thought he merited it, <laughs> which is a beautiful statement, really, <laughs> of sort of justice, you know, you should, you know, people should get what they deserve, and Dick Cheney is going out defending justice at the end.